These days, if you're looking to build a great rig, finding the best CPU for gaming is arguably the most important thing you can do. You see, your processor serves as the brain of your gaming PC, sending and interpreting instructions to and from every piece of hardware in your system. And for PC gamers, finding the best CPU for gaming can make a world of difference for performance. Number 1. Intel Core i9-9900K The best processor can mean a lot of things. For pure gaming, the Core i9-9900K is overkill. Unless you're planning on an extreme build with top-tier graphics card, for those that do more than just playing games, however, the Core i9-9900K doesn't have the core counts found of chips like the i9-9780XE or Threadripper 2990WX, but it boasts the highest clock speed of any current processor, with excellent per-core performance. Put it in a good, enthusiastic motherboard, and you're likely to see all core, stock, clocks of 4.7 GHz, with lighter workloads hitting 5.0 GHz out of the box. You need to bring your own cooling, which is Intel's approach to all its K-Series and X-Series processors. And definitely don't skimp. The i9-9900K can draw a lot of power and tends to run hotter than the previous gen, thanks to the extra cores. Even if you don't plan to overclock, I'd be hesitant to run the i9-99K on air cooling. Intel Core i7-9700K Intel's Core i7-9700K is an interesting step down from the i9-9900K. It sports the same number of CPU cores and clock speeds are similar as well. With most Z390 boards running the chip with all core turbo speeds of 4.6 through 4.7 GHz. In games, it's effectively tied with the more expensive Core i9, but costs $100 to $150 less. That's because for the first time, Intel has shipped a Core i7 without hyperthreading. It's a balancing act between price, performance, and features. Compared to the Core i7-8700K, it has 33% more cores, which generally translates directly into multi-thread performance. Hyper-threading typically only improves performance by 10 to 15%, so it's a net win. The lack of hyper-threading also means i7-9700K doesn't get nearly as hot as a Core i9, so you get by with a good air cooler. If you're live streaming, doing video editing, or other serious content creation work, stepping up to the 9900K makes sense. But if you're primarily concerned with gaming, an 8-core coffee lake clocking close to 5 GHz is as good as it gets. Number 3. Intel Core i7-8700K Last year's King of the Hill, the Core i7-8700K still boasts excellent performance and can clock at 5 GHz with a good cooler. It's also less expensive than the above CPUs, at least for the time being, and works in the same motherboards. It's a bit of a toss-up between this and the 9900K right now. The limited supply Core i7-8086K is basically done now. With the 8700K currently saving you around 50 bucks, there are a few caveats as well. Like the fact that the i7-8700K depends on software and firmware mitigations for side channel attacks like Meltdown, Spectre, and Foreshadow. You also still need to bring your own cooler, and unlike the 9th generation Intel CPUs, you don't get solder as a TIM, Terminal Interface Material. Delitting and using liquid metal can be a good investment for long-term overclocking, as it provides a potential 10 to 20 C drop in thermals. In overall gaming performance, the Core i7-8700K ranks third, just barely behind the above choices. And you'll only really see that difference if you're running a top-of-the-line graphics card, at least a GX 1080p Ti at 1080p Ultra. If you're playing a 1440p or 4K, your GPU will be the bottleneck with nearly any modern CPU. Ryzen 5 2600 slash Core i5-8400 or better. Number 4. Intel Core i5-8400 
Intel's 8th generation Coffee Lake processors have pushed the desktop Core i5 from 4-core to 6-core territory, and the result is that the Core i5-8400 is an awesome CPU for gaming and other tasks. It has higher clock speeds than the previous generation and generally matches the previous generation i7-7700K in performance. As an added bonus, you get an appropriate cooler in the box. Something I'd like to see as an option with every CPU. The only 9th gen Core i5 for the first time being is the i5-9600K, which is in most respects the same as the i5-8600K. It clocks higher and has an unlocked multiplier. It doesn't include a cooler. Given the price of the i5-8400, it's a fair compromise to skip overclocking and get everything you need in one inexpensive box. Note that as with other 8th gen CPUs, side channel attack mitigations come via firmware and software rather than being backed into the CPU. In testing, even with the GTX 1080 Ti, the i9-9900K is only about 6% faster in games at 1080p. The i5-8400 is also still faster than every Ryzen processor for pure gaming purposes. Granted, at 1440p and above, the CPU isn't a major consideration, but the i5-8400 is fast and affordable, and you don't need to worry about overclocking to get the most out of the chip. Buy any compatible motherboard, and you're basically set. Number 5. AMD Ryzen 5 2600X if you're after good gaming performance with an eye towards streaming and other multi-threaded uses, but you're working with a budget, AMD's Ryzen 5 2600X is an excellent choice. It delivers nearly the same gaming performance as the more expensive 2700X, thanks to similar stock clocks. For non-gaming tasks, it's also consistently faster than a similarly priced i5-8400, and you can overclock it slightly as a bonus. As with Ryzen 7 2700 below, consider this a recommendation for either the or the. Both are very similar, especially when overclocked. I measured only a small 500MHz difference in maximum stable OC during testing between the two. If you want to run stock, I recommend the 2600X and its higher clocks, but for overclocking, the 2600 is a better value. Pick between the two as appropriate for your intended use. One thing worth pointing out on AMD's Ryzen's processors is that the CPUs, but not APUs, all have 16 PCIe lanes for graphics, plus an additional 4 PCIe lanes for an M.2 NVMe slot and 4 more lanes connecting to the chipset. I've found in recent testing that the Spectre and Meltdown patches have reduced random I.O. SSD performance quite a bit on Intel platforms and AMD is largely unaffected. If you're looking at a fast M.2 drive, keep that in mind. Number 6. AMD Ryzen 7 2700 The best AMD CPU for overclockers is a Ryzen 7 2700. At stock, it's a bit slower than the 2700X, and even the previous generation, 1800X. It's also slower than the i7-8700K. Add in a better cooler and overclock, and you can erase most of those deficits. If you don't care to overclock, the gets you better stock performance for a minor increase in price, and includes a better cooler. Consider this a recommendation for either CPU, depending on which way you lean. The reason the 2700 is such a great CPU for overclocking is that it's still fully unlocked, just like AMD's other Ryzen processors. At stock, there's a 65 watt power limit in effect, which means in heavier workloads the clock speed can drop to around 3.5 GHz. Overclocking gets you back up around 4.05 to 4.1 GHz with 1.425 volts in my testing, which means only 100 MHz behind the more expensive 2700X. The Ryzen 7 2700 has also seen some great sales like $225 during Prime Day. Even at the normal $280 asking price, it's still an awesome CPU for non-gaming use. It's basically as fast as any of Intel's mainstream CPUs, and it's only noticeably slower in gaming if you're running a top-shelf GPU at 1080p.
Number 7. AMD Raisin 3 2200G For those on a budget who just want something that can play games and won't break the bank, look no further than AMD's Raisin 3 2200G. It's the lowest price processor we can still recommend, easily besting Intel's in-gaming and non-gaming tasks. Sure, AMD's 2200G costs $30 more, but you get a faster CPU and most workloads, the option to try a bit of overclocking, and integrated graphics performance that's more than three times as fast. It does the job of a $100 CPU paired with an $80 graphics card, and you can always upgrade to more potent GPU in the future. Number 8. Intel Core i9-7900X The X299 platform is Intel's HEDT, high-end desktop. Enthusiasts offering, with current CPUs delivering up to 18 cores, 36 threads. Such CPUs aren't needed for gaming, though if you have one, they'll work just fine. Instead, you get more cores and PCIe lanes, even for SLI and Crossfire. The CPIe lanes are of marginal use and you'll need to overclock to get the most out of such a setup. The good news is the Core i9-7900X is nearly as fast as the 8700K in games once both are overclocked, especially factoring in platform costs. If you're seriously thinking about Intel's LGA2066, you might want to step up to the i9-7980XE, because clearly price isn't much of a factor. What sorts of workloads need such a processor? If you're doing video editing, the 7900X could be more than 50% faster than the i7-8700K. It's also about 40% faster than Ryzen 7 2700K, depending on what you're doing. Xeon processors are designed for professionals, and the Core i9 models improve clock speeds and lower prices while targeting enthusiasts. Number 9. Intel Core i9-7980XE Did you win the lottery and are looking for ways to blow your newfound wealth? Or did your work write you a blank check for a new workstation? Same difference. If your livelihood depends on getting complex tasks done quickly as possible, you should be able to justify Intel Core's i9-7980XE. If you bill by the hour can save hundreds of hours over the course of a year, look no further. Just don't pretend it's necessary for gaming. Even with 80% more cores, the lower clock speeds of each core make the 7980XE generally slower in games than the 7900X, which is in turn slower than the 9900K, 9700K, and 8700K. Even in non-gaming heavily threaded applications, it's still only about 30% faster than the 7900X. The law of diminishing returns is in full effect. The good news is you get bragging rights at least for Intel processors, because AMD's 32-core Threadripper 2990WX is currently the unchallenged king of cores. Number 10. AMD Raisin Threadripper 2990WX If you're a professional looking for the absolute fastest threadboard performance possible in a single socket, look no further than AMD's Threadripper 2990WX. Our colleagues at AND AND Tech provide an in-depth review, and the numbers add up with some interesting results. 32 cores at 3.0 to 4.2 GHz is unstoppable in the right workloads, like scientific calculations and 3D rendering. There are also weaknesses in many tasks that simply don't scale to that many cores and threads. Gaming is one of the weaknesses. Not because you can't game, but because you end up with a platform that generally loses to Ryzen 7 desktop processors. As an alternative to Intel's Core i9 products, an AMD's Threadripper 2990WX wins out in many professional applications, especially in terms of value. Currently, for multi-threaded workloads, it's up to 33% faster than the i9-7900X. The problem is that in gaming workloads, it's often slower than even 6-core Ryzen 5 parts, unless you enable game mode to disable half the cores, which requires a reboot. In other words, despite the massive core counts and oodles of ICE lanes, this isn't a CPU for multi-GPU gaming. It's designed as the basis of a compute workstation, a task at which it excels. You would have four GPUs, two with 16 lanes and two with eight lanes, and two M.2 NVMe drives, plus a few other peripherals, and not run to PCIe lane limitations. Bottom line, for content creators and professionals, Threadripper CPUs are an excellent value.